Hey, what's up? Alex Antolino here, Creative Director at Video Ask. In this video, I wanna share with you how you can create interactive video content that you can use on your website to make your offer personalized to everyone visiting. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is write your script and map out your storylines. This might sound very obvious and let's be honest, it is, but it's very important that you actually have a clear idea of what you want to do and what piece of video leads to what. And the best way to do that is actually getting some post-its, putting them on the table and actually make your map of how this interactive content would look like in each of the storylines. Here's a pro tip for you. When you actually sit down and write your script and map out your content, a good way to do this is actually start from the very end and then go backwards. So let's say you have three products, product A, B, and C. You might want to start your post-its on the table from your products and then track them back to the beginning. This will help you differentiate them and make the storylines unique and actually appealing to lead into each one of these final offers or product or services or even like a call to action. Once you have your script clear and all your post-its in front of you, you can actually start recording your video ask. When it comes to recording, you can do it natively on video ask or if you have a mirrorless camera or something like this, you can record it with your own camera and then upload the files to video ask. Now that you have your content recorded, it's time to build it on video ask. You'll have to apply some logic, if this, then that, and then build the map that you had created on your post-its. If you have everything labeled up, it should be a very simple process. I actually have two tips for you. The first one is that you can actually delay the appearance of your buttons and your interactions. This can be very useful in order for your audience to get to listen to your content before they get the chance to interact with it. The second one is that you can actually customize a little bit the UI of your video ads so it kind of matches your brand a little bit more. So maybe make the buttons more roundy or more square or maybe actually change some colors on the overlay text and things like that. Just play around and you will make it a little bit more unique. Once your video ask is set up, you actually have now already an interactive piece of content. Woohoo! That's actually like a big achievement on itself. But you can actually now try to fit it into your whole workflow. To do that, you just need to link the end of each storyline to the next step of your funnel, for example. The first thing you could do to connect your video ads to the journey you already have is actually use the URL on redirect. At the end of each story, maybe you have a CDA or something like that. You want people to check your webinar. You want people to actually go to another landing page. And this is very simple by using URL redirect. Let's say I'm offering three different kinds of courses and then I wanna send you to each one depending on what you answered. I can do this by using each different URL in each one of the answers. Another idea could be to use our Calendly integration. So you can actually get your customers to book a call directly on your video ask. This is actually really interesting if you're getting leads and you're trying to qualify them. You might want to set an appointment with them directly on your video ask. And if you want to learn more about this, we've prepared this video for you. Now it's time to get this out so people can experience it. You have two ways to put this on your website. One, you can embed it directly on your homepage, for example. This is what Stanley from Tate Law is actually doing directly on his homepage to qualify leads. You can also use the widget, so it's more like a chatbot, but it's a real person talking to you. Such a big difference to see someone talking directly to you and actually offering what you're interested in seeing. Once you put your content on your website and people are using it, boom, you did it. Now you have an interactive piece of content that is useful for people to get to what they want to see. But hold on, we actually have something more for you. If you check into your video ask account after a while, you'll be able to see what people are actually interacting with the most. Inside the platform, you can see how people are interacting with your video ask and this might give you some insights on what you need to produce next, what is the piece of content that you need to create next week and these kind of things. All right, so hopefully that was useful and you might be wondering, okay, that's pretty interesting, but Antolino, how do I apply this to my business? Okay, so as I said, maybe you have some offerings that you wanna, you know, make more tailored to your customers. So if you have three products, maybe you can ask them a couple of questions and then send them to one of the landing pages of that product. That would be a way. One of my favorite examples on how to use interactive content to provide a more personalized offer is what Ren Segal is doing on his Flux Academy website. He has a widget with a video ask that you can interact with and he will suggest what course is more suitable for you based on your design 
design level. Pretty dope. Another thing you could do is actually apply this same idea to your FAQ. I mean, come on, we all know that FAQs are quite boring. They're functional sometimes, but they're quite boring sometimes too. So maybe you can actually apply this whole concept to an FAQ and turn that experience into something personal, into an opportunity to show your personality, to build your brand. All right, that's it on my end. I hope that was useful. If you have any questions, please let me know on the comments. I'll be around for the next few days and I'll be replying to all of your questions and listening to all of your suggestions. And please, 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 please let me know if you have a good example. Are you already using video ads like this on your website? Hit me up because I'm really looking forward to see it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.